Up next, it is New Mexico State football. I am joined by head coach Jerry Kill and linebacker and defensive star Trevor Brohard. Guys, thank you guys for coming on. I really appreciate it. I want to get straight into the football. Coach Kill, it's uh, your first season with the Aggies, and I feel like there's a lot of excitement surrounding this program. I guess just for you, how, how does it feel to be coming into this program with a, a clean, fresh slate? Well, I'm excited about it. You know, it's uh, uh, things didn't end uh, the way I'd like to him because of the health situation as a head coach. But uh, getting back here and uh, getting the opportunity, uh, working with Mario uh, before. And uh, as soon as I got in, he flew me in at night. I looked at the mountains, the sunshine, and then I said, now we got to build a football team. Uh, and then, you know, one of those guys that's going to be on your football team is uh, Trevor. Uh, Trevor, you've been an Aggie your entire collegiate career. Um, have you seen like a culture change with Kill coming in? And I guess how does it feel for you to be, you know, a part of this uh, change in Aggies football? Absolutely. You know, I definitely have seen a really good cultural change. Um, guys want to wake up, they want to come to work, you know, they want to put in the work. Uh, and I, I want to talk some X's and O's here. Uh, defensively, I feel like a lot of people are excited to see what you guys can do on the defensive side of the ball. You've got nine uh, starters returning from last year. Trevor, you're one of them. I guess just like, what are your expectations for uh, this defensive squad right now? Uh, right now, you know, I'm expecting like when other coaches put on the tape, right, and they're watching our defense. I want them to see 11 guys flying to the football. I want them to see, you know, 11 red jerseys or 11 black jerseys around the football every single play. You know, guys hustling sideline to sideline, you know, giving all they've got. And then I want them to see how hard we can hit. When I was at the spring practices, you had a really like big emphasis on defense. You were excited every time they made plays. I guess just what is it going to be like for you to work with a very, you know, talented defensive side uh, for, for your football team? Well, I th and, you know, you, you went on defense. Everybody talked about offense all they want, but you went on defense and uh, guys like Trevor, that's what you went with. And, uh, you know, his example through the summer has helped us and in the spring, uh, I think we developed more kids like that. I think we've recruited uh, good on that side of the ball to add depth, uh, which we needed and uh, actually competition. And so uh, it's going to be very competitive. Uh, uh, during fall camp, but we're uh, we're looking forward to it. And then just going to the other side of the ball, um, you know, a lot of questions with how that's going to pan out. You're bringing in a bunch of new guys, not a lot of starters from last year returning. I guess just what are your expectations uh, for your offense heading into this season? Well, you know, we we've got to make sure we take care of the football. Don't turn it over. Can't get lead the country in sacks or whatever it is. You know, we can do all that. Uh, we got to be uh, a team that uh, is able to to uh, control the football, but we've got, you know, I think people will be surprised is, is athletically, uh, we're very talented at receiver, uh, we're very talented at running back, uh, we're talented tied in, you know, our question is up front, you know, are we going to be good enough up front, and that's where your depth problem runs in. The other places we got depth, but, um, you know, everybody seems to be worried about our quarterback, I'm not worried about that. Do you know who you're going to kind of put in there right now? Or? Well, it's, you know, Diego had kind of the edge going in, you know, coming out of camp. But, uh, you know, we've got, we got another guy breathing down his throat. And we'll just see how that plays out. But, you know, if, you, if you're good up front, you can do a lot of things. And uh, so uh, that's, that's the question mark. And that's the, the big challenge. And really on both sides of the ball, you know, uh, I think, uh, you know, uh, that's where you win games. What is the goal for this season with this program, especially since, you know, in the previous years, not a lot of wins, a lot of disappointment, but what's the goal for you guys heading into this year? For me, win games. I want to finish my last season strong. Well, I, I think as a staff coming in, we can, you know, you say rebuild, you do this, you do that. Uh, that's not fair to these guys. And uh, so we're going to do everything we can to, to win games. And I mean, that's what you're supposed to do if you're a competitor. You don't go any. You don't go into any game that you don't feel like you can win, and it doesn't matter who you play. And uh, so, uh, if you play hard, you can get lucky some, and you'll find a way to win some. And uh, you know, we owe it to guys like this that have been in the program, stayed here, didn't have to. We owe them some wins. Awesome. Well, it should be exciting and fun to watch. Open up the season against Nevada, August 27th. Thank you guys for joining us, and uh, we're looking forward to the season. All right. You bet.